go find like those small organizations that you could become part of and expand your casting. How can I make my business better? It's not just the trade show floor that I'm excited about. What I'm truly excited about is I feel like I'm going to be missing out on some of those great speakers that they have here. You've got people that are very successful that are opening up to all of us. This is what you could do and implement it. Welcome to the huge convention, guys. We are here at the second pod row, but huge leap from the first pod the row, which was convention. in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Naylor's the pioneer behind all of this. So you guys can watch this on YouTube, Green Street Podcast on YouTube. What's going on here? This is absolutely epic. Well, thank you, Paul. This is a little bit, you know, less than what I was hoping for, but you know, things get shuffled around as we'll learn with trade shows. Things don't always go 100% according to plan and we may do what we have, but we have a tremendous uh, opportunity to have this space. We've got what, four? Four tables, right? Mm-hmm. Four tables in here, three booths. We you know, have a whole section over here. And basically, it's our opportunity to check out all of the other vendors and booths that are here, talk about the huge convention, learn about the huge convention, interview all the attendees, have speakers. There's a lot of speakers that are at the huge convention, such as Marvin Salcedo with Salcedo Lawns and so on. And they're going to stop by so they can jump on our podcast and we can interview them. They get to talk about what they spoke about and all that. So it's just a really great opportunity for a whole bunch of podcasters to, to get together at a trade show have our own space at pod row and we can just interview people like one after another like you know like uh, marvin can start with john Pajax, um podcast and work his way down to yours and mine and so on and we can just you know it's like having like a late night talk show or in a certain fashion as well we could just have a real good time just getting a lot of content for everyone listening as well as for us you know to have on, on our podcast so it's a good way to, to kind of get a lot of great content for everybody in so many different ways but the huge convention is all about pressure washing, window cleaning, Christmas lighting and housekeeping and so much more. And they're trying to get into lawn and landscaping. So that's why we're here to to really check it out and get more information. And all these services that everyone's offering here are good add-ons to your landscaping lawn care business. So many people want to pressure wash, right, mm-hmm. Paul? Like there's a lot of opportunities here. So you can see all, just like the all the expos we know, there's all the booths of all the brands. And then upstairs, they've got tons of classes that you can learn about business, what, regardless of what your business is, all the best practices for hiring, you know, training, knowing your numbers, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But uh, in addition to everything I said, like this is probably, correct me if I'm wrong, the first opportunity that we've been able to collectively get together with backdrops and poster banners and all of our video and audio equipment really get set up to get all the content that we can for YouTube, Instagram, podcasting, just really hone everything in. Like instead of, like I've said before for the Pod Summit, which is its own self, its own event by its own standalone event is what I was trying to say, Mm -hmm. you know, just for podcasting, you know, we're always in the background of everything. We're always scrambling to set up our, you know, our board somewhere in some hotel lobby or something and bang out a couple of late night episodes, something like that. Like that's how it's been the norm. And I wanted to find some ways for us to actually have a planned out, you know, we were here yesterday setting up, you know, like we're in the trade show, you know, we're a part of the expo, we're vendors, we have vendor badges, we're getting everything done so that we can be organized as best as possible and try to really get some great content for the community so they can learn a lot of stuff. That's the whole point of this. Yeah. And it's one step closer to the ultimate goal that I've, I think I've shared it with you guys years ago. What Joe Rogan and Oprah have, Oprah back in the TV days, now it's it's podcasting days is what's popular broadcasting, but back in the 90s, everyone went to Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. Stayed at the Omni Hotel, and they were a guest on Oprah's show. Like That was the best thing in media was you got to be a guest on Oprah's show, but she just sat there, and everyone came to her. Now, fast forward to 2023, what's the greatest like achievement in life is like to be a guest on Joe Rogan's podcast. Like, You know what I mean? But guess what? Joe's just sitting there in Austin, Texas, the guests are coming to him. So my goal one day is to have an awesome studio and people coming to whatever city I live in by that time, but we're baby stepping to getting that because now we set up, it might not be a full Oprah or Joe Rogan, but for 24, 48 hours, it is. We set up and they come to us. You get the great content. I make people mad, but I don't like Zoom like calls for podcasting because it just doesn't sound good. Right. This is the best. I can touch Naylor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can touch John. Not only that, but it, it's <laughs> just like the same thing. It's like you're in person. There's a dynamic. Like even though like the three of us, we know each other very well. I know that a lot of times when we're doing a podcast via Zoom, 
it doesn't have the same energy. You know, we don't. Well, ours are different because we have good mics. But I'm talking yeah. like you interview somebody but else. Sure, the audio. Sure. They're in their truck on their phone. But, you but know, all the, this stuff. But even the interaction. You know, what right. I'm saying yeah, is, yeah, the, in addition to the better audio, yeah. there's the verbal and nonverbal cues and the body language, the energy right. that you can pick up. So that's why Zoom is the next best thing. But yeah, yeah being yeah. live and in person like I, this I, is really. I, where I realize it's at. a marketing thing that you did good, Naylor. You have your podcast at the top of your banner. Because I yeah. saw some guy looking, he wanted to follow me, but my banner is covered up by this. Yeah. Like yeah. for marketing, he was looking to try to follow me. Right. And he didn't see that. And then he looked at yours. I watched him do it. And then he could, he saw, oh, LCR. So just a little for our next thing, I'm going to have to ditch yeah. that banner and get a get just, one with well, this. this keep, I mean, keep it yeah, as an this auxiliary. Be good for like, yeah. in, like you know, at home and stuff. But I'm saying for marketing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got all my information. Look, it's at the bottom. It's all at the bottom. Green History yeah. Podcast. That's what my but, wife was saying yesterday. She's like, if you look uh, at the professional banners, there's nothing on the bottom but blank space. They right, put all uh, their stuff at the, the top, top because there's going to be tables and chairs blocking it. So and that's why my bottom just has <clears> listen here and a QR code. My bottom has my books <laughs> all your and stuff. I know I said that to my wife. I was like, poor Paul's got all his books and everything at the bottom. I did the same thing where I've got like, you know, Check us out on Audible and all that other yeah. stuff is at the bottom. My QR codes at right. the bottom. So obviously, yeah, this is our first rodeo. I oh, paid good. someone I mean, twenty five bucks from that. From I, I showed you my poster. You guys could have like been like, "Oh, wait a minute, he doesn't have much on I the back." I sent it we, to we, you we and said, "What do you think, Rook?" And you was like, "It looks great. I want to yeah. feedback." Like, but, but the right. thing is, I wasn't thinking about that. But it looks the, really good. Oh, you, well, you well, paid it's a Jason person. Creel's thumbnail girl. I pay her. A five oh, bucks I thought you were for a going thumbnail. On gotcha. But I pay you five bucks per YouTube thumbnail. Yeah. They're not that great. I get like three point seven click rate like retention, <laughs> which I got. but anyway, uh, five bucks is five bucks. And then for this I said, How much do I owe you? And she's like, Well, just whatever you want. So I think I gave her twenty five bucks. That's um, nice. and she was thrilled, like yeah. thrilled. No, so so what I meant is this looks this looks like high quality. Yeah, pr- like it's this legit. But as far but as from the a placement, marketing yeah, and branding, did, yeah. I'm just I, for I think country, yeah. in the future. Like if we had a different layout, you would put this up front, right? And you know this is still a valuable piece. Hang on to I'll it hang on and to use it. it up in front. Or if instead of it being behind you, you use that in front of your table, you know, yeah. to take up some space. Yeah. It's still a great. I love it. Well, you man. got your uh, color scheme and your band, your yeah. uh, cloth. Well, I think honestly the answer is what um when you remember I sketched this out from the first mm-hmm. pod row. I was I put like our logos on a tablecloth. You know, I was initially thinking tablecloths. Then I thought bigger about banners because you can take those anywhere. You don't need a table. You can just mm-hmm. pop up your banner and stand in front of it if you need to somewhere. But I think having a runner. I mean, you got a tablecloth and a runner, but the runner is the one that has all the graphics and right. stuff on it. The tablecloth is the color branding. So just getting a runner and we can just fold that up, put it in our bag, and take that anywhere and put that, and that would have your Green Industry Podcast logo and info so people can see that front and center. Because these we have to have a backdrop. We have to have some sort of backdrop for visual and to help it look more professional. So I don't think we can really take away from these and put them anywhere else because then it'll kind of block us off from everybody. But putting a runner like you have, Payjack, I thought about that, but I just stopped at the banners for now. (laughs) You know what? This is actually super valuable to the people listening because they're not realizing it, but they're getting a marketing session right now. And we're trial by fire learning. I watched this gentleman walk by. He was was intrigued, first of all. Yeah, they look up at the banner. They look at that, and then he was looking at me like my banner and I could tell he was like while we were all here yeah earlier, he was standing right there and he was looking and, and he was trying to follow me because I he was yeah. looking for a reason of like who yeah. is this guy because he saw my face and he saw my face but then I lost a follower or not lost I didn't gain a follower right. there then he looked at yours and it's like boom and I it looked like he followed you on the spot really yeah because there's you know he looked this at LCR Media Podcast and there's Tally Farrow gotcha and then he so anyway my marketing brain and I did this this morning. I was sitting on the, my balcony drinking a cup of coffee in my upgraded room. <laughs> oh, Speaking of which, I know exactly where your room is because yeah. I'm walking in and out of that same... I'm walking mm-hmm. right underneath you every single time I'm coming. Well, the path is right there, yeah. which is interesting, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm just saying... I, no, when, I, go ahead. <laughs> I was watching the pressure washers. It's like all the guys' shirts are blue, but I'm looking at their T-shirts and like some guys had so much text on their T-shirt like... Yeah, it was so busy, and then other people have like, I think it was Oakland pressure wash, and their stuff looked pretty clean and fresh. And I was, I was just watching, like I'm always thinking about branding, yeah, all the time. And but the point is, whether it's a pressure washing business, a lawn care business, a software company like Jobber, or uh, you know what we're doing with our Mm -hmm. podcasting and stuff, marketing is marketing. Yeah, you don't want to waste opportunity in this digital day and age. Right, and I I agree. I don't think it's going to be too 
detrimental to you, don't beat yourself up about well, it. Well, okay? for the next one, because Naylor, right. I want you to expound on this. This isn't a one and done. We're planning right. on doing multiple of these a year and just until it's like, you know, I don't know how right. much of the vision you want to share. Keep on the DL for all these. Whatever we do, everyone intimidates and... They takes. imitate, yeah. Imitate, gotcha. Imi- you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. Greatest I should do a form podcast. Of flattery, but at the same time... <laughs> one day, if everyone that copies me... Uh, when people do stuff and yeah, they're, flatter, the, they're yeah. first to the market because they heard your idea, then it looks like we're chasing their idea right. when it actually was... Oh, this idea has been, been behind the scenes for years. Yeah. yeah. Years. And, and this wasn't my idea. I was just trying to help Paul get it, make it happen. And, you know, I will share, like, you know, the ultimate goal is, you know, to uh, to continue other trade shows, like, you know, maybe at Equip and so on. There's another trade show that I'm working on trying to get there at different times of the year so that we can kind of spread it out mm-hmm. and just kind of go to different trade shows. They're more regional, so everyone's going to go to Equip, right? Like, it's one of those things that everyone's traveling from everywhere for, to Equip, but not everyone's going to come to these smaller shows if on the other complete opposite side of the country. So if I can go move around, like, that's why I move the Pod Summit around every year. And then if we can be have Pod Row at different trade shows regionally, then different people can attend Pod Row and also maybe check out whatever trade show it is if they've never been there before and they see value and all that. So that's kind of the goal there is to just kind of have, you know, a couple more trade shows. Like we're going to be back at Sync Live again coming up in February in Atlanta. Um, But in between now and then, I'm looking for another trade show to kind of fill in that gap so we can have another Pod Row and again, you know, keep evolving this setup and hopefully have the same good space and all that and just keep keep creating this content and hopefully meet the people that are close to those trade shows. Like every time we have one of these events, we always meet more local folks in the community. They drive, you know, from, mm-hmm. you know, an hour or three hours, wherever to come hang out with us. And we do stuff at, you know, we go out get dinner, you know, we learn stuff at the trade show. We obviously podcast, video, all that stuff. So And I already know uh, Pookie's coming from North Carolina. Ben's coming from Alabama. Uh, Ken and Jen are coming from Missouri. I saw they're, them take me. Here. Yeah, they take me. They're from Missouri. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, people are coming from other states to get to have fellowship. My wife's out. hanging out with Ken and Jen right now over in the oh, uh, the main Andrew general came from, yeah. from Texas. Yeah, and, um, and Erica with um, Michigan. I think. Uh, 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 Poopin' Scoopin'. Yeah. Croupin's Poopin' Scoopin'. There you I go. I think scooping. she's up yeah. in Michigan. Yeah. So yeah, so so there's more more podcasters came this this year for Pod Row. So just a lot of good another networking opportunity sure. for the community as well as creating content. Something else that we could talk about off air if you want, but <laughs> there's also listen. There's a lot of trade shows that don't get a lot of recognition, right? And like if you go th- like through some of the organizations that I'm part of, they have uh, like Purdue Field Day, right? They have a whole trade show there. And it's, it attracts us very specific, uh, you know, because it's mostly for Furt and Squirt. It'll right. attract a Furt and Squirt company. But then there's the um, Indiana Landscape Society. I forgot what the, it's a whole bunch of initials, you know. Right. But they have a pretty decent sized one. Right. And it's something that, you know, you could bring more attention to. It's like, hey, I'm sure they would love to have us there. And, um, you know, until we can get the RV that I want to get and label that all up, have our yeah. m- big ugly mugs on that, and we travel across country. <laughs> there right? you go. But, you know, that's down. The, we're kicking that can <laughs> down. Like college we're, game we're going day down the pipe on that uh, one. College football, they have a bus that says, like, college game day. Yeah, exactly. My buddy John Buxton, actually, I think he was in Indiana, he saw it driving down the highway one day, and he took a picture and sent it to us. Because we're college football fans. Like, look who drove by. It's like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Exactly. Pretty it, cool. Or, like, you know, he's... You see, like, country stars or, or musicians or whatever, and they've got their, you know, convoy of stuff. It's like people get excited about that. I, there was a car. Uh, uh, it, they actually caused an accident, but they were chasing down uh, a NASCAR truck, uh. truck and trailer, because they were trying to get pictures. And then while they're doing that, they, like, rear-ended somebody. So it's like we don't want to cause that kind of craziness. I doubt we'll ever do that. But, right, right. you know, people get a kick out of seeing that type of thing. Yeah. And, uh you know, to parlay that back into marketing. Yeah, go go find like those uh, those small organizations that you could become part of and expand your. You know, because not everybody's in podcasting. Right. You know, we're in the green industry, and most guys aren't going to go into podcasting. They're going to go into how can I make my business better, and a lot of those smaller trade shows are awesome. And the huge convention, I'm. Not, it's not just the trade show floor that I'm excited about. What I'm truly excited about is I. I feel like I'm going to be missing out on some of those great speakers that they have here. And this, out of all the all the things that we go to, this is the one that I got most excited about because it's more ideas and it's more like, 
you've got people that are very successful that are opening up to all of us and saying, this is how we did it. This is what you could do and implement it. You know, we could talk about it all the time. Naylor, Paul, we could talk about, tell everybody every in and out of how successful our business is. But at the same time, if they don't go home and take action on it, it's never going to happen. But just getting that information first is what's exciting to me. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I was trying to bring that back in to bring <laughs> no, a, val- a point of value for somebody. Good stuff. So well, this is a good way to also to advertise the huge convention, you know, which is a, a good learning opportunity for a lot of folks, as well as for us to get content and mm-hmm. network with our community and also meet a lot of new folks, you know. I mean, we have the good folks at, at Jobber that are, have a booth here, too. So that's really good, you know, coincidence right there. Um, so they're a part of um, Pod Row, helping make this happen from a financial standpoint. So just a lot of good uh, folks that we know and are in our own lawn and landscape industry. But some of them, like Jobber, like tra- you know, transcend over or overlap over multiple industries or multiple services within, you know, the the trades uh, throughout contracting. If we were not in, but yesterday between one and four, yeah. there was a five thousand dollar fine. Wow! If you were moving equipment and stuff around, so I was like, wow. That's why I was so. Well, yeah. Well, my wife and I came back through here last night because we had to go. We had to. We had to go move our our vehicle, and when we went back through here, and then I saw Jobber left us some gifts here, and um, you know, we we had to go back through there, and and I'm like, like, there's no way that people are going to get all this done by five o'clock today, and and we rolled like at like five. I was like, they might be closed, you know. I'm not sure, but it was like five fifteen, and and the doors were still open, and because it makes sense, because people were just getting started at some point yesterday, like at like three right. o'clock, they're like, bah, 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 and they're like putting things together. I'm like, there's no way these people are going to get done by five. They must have been working all night last night, mm-hmm. like so. I mean, I'm just, it's just. I don't know what people just roll in at the last minute and try to throw this stuff together. And some of these people got some really legit boots. I mean, oh, I know. It's, it's just like a quip. I mean, these, yeah. these boots are no joke. Yeah. You know, you got gutter cleaning and power washing or pressure washing cleaner. I should have brought my books and yeah. stacked them up. My, my wife just said that the, that guy across from us right now, he just yeah. finished up. He Michael Burnoff, that's what his name is. He just finished speaking at the general conve- uh, the general oh, session. Wow. Gotcha. So we we you know it's not that we missed it, but it's just yeah you know he's we, got his own thing. He's got yeah. his own, he's doing well, his thing. But we can get him on the podcast exactly. and talk about whatever he's got going on. So exactly. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get uh, finished setting up for the audio audience. Um, thank you guys for listening and check out the video portion of this. This is something that. Uh, Mike Pletz up in Canada, He a while ago, he's kind of pushing me like, hey, you should do more videos. And Naylor knows that I don't really know how to set up a camera uh, or put together a tripod or like you. I'm not exaggerating, am I? <laughs> no, I'm trying not to laugh. Not yeah, so, so this Especially is, in, the, in the heat of the moment like this, even oh, uh, I, get, I get a little flustered trying to make sure everything's working right. You know? I'm on episode 1050 something and I'm just Woo! now feeling comfortable, <laughs> my roadcaster, <laughs> like wow. getting it set up and uh, I still wasn't like flawless with yeah. it. But this, what I'm trying to say is this is not my skill set. Technology, electronics, gear stuff for some people it's really natural and even like john it's natural for you to turn a wrench and to fix something I, I, i've called you probably seven or eight times you have hey john <laughs> you know you always go you don't say you got a question for gravel, gravel back, back mechanic that's, that's a, that you know because then i know which gear to be in right that's <laughs> funny yeah but what i'm saying is but this is not yeah. yeah electronics is like foreign to me but i feel it's important and I, what i want you to know is i'm investing money time effort to make this content for you guys on YouTube. So go over there and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, subscribe. Green Industry Podcast with Paul Jameson. Uh, support us with the video because I, I'm i stepping out of my comfort zone to try to provide this. My my daughter watches YouTube now, which is kind of scaring me. She watches a lot of Sunday, but on, when she watches it on the TV, it's already got, it's queued up mm-hmm. and it's, you're starting to filter into like the settings now. Oh wow! So I'm like, yeah. So go ahead and subscribe, like, and uh, you know, follow. There you the go. The Green Industry Podcast on YouTube. Uh, sometimes right. the algorithm's nice, and it'll kind of shoot it out there for well, you. Well, what's but interesting about the algorithm, and I know we got to get going, but yeah. if I make a video of Natalie Albertson on a lawnmower, yeah, oh, that's a two hundred fifty thousand yeah. views. Don't eat. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. I, I posted like. Six or seven versions of that video, 100,000 views, 115,000 views, 250,000 views, effortlessly. I post a little clip of us talking and it flops. Yeah. And it's so frustrating because I feel like this is more valuable. No offense to Natalie's mowing skills, but that's what the algorithm promotes. And I'm like, 
I could do that all day long. I really could. I got. I show you my phone. I got more uh, Jason Creole blowing mulch on someone's house videos that do so well <laughs> in the algorithm. I said, Jason, did you mean to do that? What are you talking about? I was like, oh, never mind, yeah. Jason. <laughs> That's going to go viral. That's funny. Oh, but um, I do that all the time. <laughs> I sound just like him right there Wait, for a second. <laughs> he, he's really messing it up on purpose, right? Now, uh, so what happened well, was. In sometimes that, he, he's not. In oh. that case, he wasn't. So it was, it was wet, wet grass. Yeah, it's literally gotcha. raining. And I'm filming him, and he's shooting it, and he just paste this lady's brick house with green <laughs> wet grass and i'm filming it thinking it's gonna go viral but he didn't he didn't know it he happened. didn't know it happened okay. he was just mowing <laughs> and so people just drilling him in the comments like he shot his shot he should have shot it the other way of course yeah so yeah. then i'm filming well, if this him this is all it takes i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna blow like a yeah. whole load in, well, in somebody's well, so, pool so now they're now now, now they're <laughs> intentional now he's trying it. to play it off yeah. like oh well, let's do let's do more of that and then yeah, now yeah. it's now it's uh manufactured gotcha uh, but how about i how about film me i'll blow but, the grass on the driveway so now we plan it uh, okay. but that one was as authentic as you can get and he also did one with the chickens he almost drove over his chicken and he blasted it with wet dew in the morning <laughs> uh, and i was like jason did you do that on purpose he's like what he didn't even notice the oh, chicken wow. were like <laughs> there well, so like, he's with Natalie, like I know she was on that big bat wing one, and then it kind of got away from her for a second. It's 144 inches, yeah, it's and bit, she she yeah. definitely didn't mow with yeah. excellence. And she's very she's a pretty woman, of course, it's a big there, mower. There's a whole she lot of things. Up. There's I was a whole like, lot of things this, that make that viral, viral and amazing. This so, is right. guaranteed. When I the, filmed it, I was like. The three of us just sitting here. I can't wait. And, and then at the very end, she just, she yeah, just she jumps like, out. She just it jumps was out. perfect. She didn't even put the brake on or nothing. Yeah. She just and, hops uh, out. Deion Sanders, he's the head coach of the Colorado uh, football team. He liked that video. And I looked and I was like, it said Deion Sanders check mark. I was like, okay. I click on it. 3.4 million views. What? Like, yeah, I was like, that's him. So I sent that to Emily from X Mark. I was like, hey, Emily, we have, a, and she knows college football. He's like wow. the most yeah. popular guy in college football for sure. Well, it's like Deion he's, Sanders. I mean. Yeah, he's a, he's a celebrity, like an A lister. Right. Yeah. And I was like, he liked the post of the X Mark mower. <laughs> and uh, so anyway. Wow. That's going to be like Mr. Beast status pretty soon. You're going to have the, yeah, know, dude. these guys just randomly watching. You're like, did you see that video the other day? You know, did you see Paul Jameson's new video? Yeah. That we're going to start talking about it. Like, hey, did you right. see Mr. Beast? Oh, did you see Paul Jameson's new video? Yeah. Good huh? times. Yeah. All right. Well, I got to go meet somebody. <laughs> so You're going to go chase some yeah, lady thanks. down. <laughs> All right, hey, pay Jack. What? I got to be careful because I, I, I batch my content so far out in advance now. Uh, I'm like three okay. weeks. I'm going to have a girlfriend he's, by now. He's gonna she's go listening. Find, she's going to be talking He about. needs to go find this really that nice. That might be her. You never you know. need to go find that fancy water you drink, that balanced yeah. water or whatever. That's, the that's, the that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. So uh, he's LCR, Naylor, long care rookie. You can follow him. His podcast is LCR Media Podcast. He's a profit of with pay Jack. Profit up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they miss they miss pro yeah. <laughs> Profits with Payjack. Oh. Profit oh, man. Profits with Payjack. <laughs> nice. <And Pro> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I was reading that. I was I, like, it looks I, like I a misspell. It is a miss. Profits with Payjack. Follow him and uh, smash that subscribe button. Turn the bell on for notifications. Uh, yes, sir.